watched my videos for any length of time, you probably know that I am a big nerd and I love musicals and Broadway. I've been wanting to get a little bit more creative with my makeup, so I thought, what if I try doing a series where I used musicals as inspiration for makeup looks? So like, if, if the musical were a full face of makeup, what would I think it would be? Like, my face is the stage, that's how I'm thinking it. So I thought this would be fun. I don't know if anyone cares, but um, maybe it'll inspire you. I love musicals with really strong color schemes. I feel like it really enhances the entirety of the story, as well as just making the visuals a lot more intriguing. So I felt like Beetlejuice would be a perfect musical to start with because it has one of the best sets uh, I've ever seen. It is so intricate and fun and colorful. There's just so much going on and I think it's so cool. And the color scheme of black, white, green with a bit of purple is just so... Yes. Now, I already have my brows done, as well as my eyeshadow primer and some concealer on my forehead to cover up some lovely, lovely acne. So let's just get straight into the eyeshadow. It's showtime! Now, because Beetlejuice has such a strong thematic coloring of green, I wanted to definitely incorporate that. I'm using a green from my Avocado Toast Palette from BH Cosmetics. I have just bought this, and I got it in like a day or two ago, and... I love the color story and especially I wanted it for all of the matte greens I had so very happy about this so I'm going to go into this avo toast shade think of this tutorial as a general one and not a product specific one because I don't think you need any of the things I have you can always make things work for instance Let's say you don't have a green shade quite like the one I'm using. Maybe you have a gold metallic as well as a blue one. You can mix them together and make a similar shade. You don't need to go out buying things if you know you're not going to use them that often. Just work with what you have. I find it really fun to get creative. So I wanted to start with Avo Toast in the crease of my eye, but a bit higher than my crease just because my eyes are kind of hooded. I'm using a bigger fluffy brush to start. Now I'm going in with a smaller, slightly denser crease brush and focusing in on the inner part of my eye because I want to put a different color on that outer portion. Now I thought this color is so fitting because it has more of a bright lime tone to it, which is similar to the green that is in the show a lot. I'm kind of blending it up to my eyebrows because I don't have that much lid space. And now that I've done that on both eyes, I wanted to go into a bright, cool toned purple because I feel like that is the accent they often used. I'm using this small, fluffy, thin brush. It's not round, I guess. And I'm just gonna focus that on the outer portion of my crease. If you are wondering, this is from the ColourPop I Like You A Lot palette. I'm making sure to keep my placement of it really focused in this one spot because I don't want it to get too muddy or too blown out because I want more green than purple. I'm kind of blending it upwards in a wing-like shape. So I've finished that on both of my eyes. Don't be afraid to take your time and blend. Also, just want to put it out there. I am in no way a professional makeup artist, if you couldn't tell. I just like doing this for fun. Now the next shade I wanted to use was this shade Fluff from the same Lilac You A Lot palette, or just any more vibrant, cool toned purple. Now to apply that to my lid, I am using this, I guess, C-shaped rounded flat brush, and I dampened it with water. A lot of people use setting spray and stuff to make it damp, to increase the pigmentation. I find that water does the same exact thing, so it's cheaper that way. So I'm gonna focus this shade on the outer and inner portion of my eye, leaving the center of it a bit blank. I softened the edges a bit by using that same brush for the purple shade and just kind of lightly blending it out. I don't wanna um, take away the definition, but just take away the harsh, strange line. 
Now with a similarly shaped brush as last time, you could technically use the same one and just clean it off, but I didn't feel like doing that. So I dampened another one and I'm going in with this bright, warm tone, almost lime color metallic green. It's the color Sahara from the Elf Earth and Ocean palette, if you are wondering. And I'm going to focus that onto the center of my eyelid. To blend out the harsh line, I'm going to use that brush for the purple earlier. I'm not adding any product, I'm just using it to blend out the edges so that it's not such a harsh line. And to add a tiny bit more of a punch of color, I'm just tapping on the shade using my finger. Again, I went and used a little bit more of the shade Iffy from this palette to clean up the edges and to re-emphasize the purple in the outer corners. Now because of Beetlejuice's iconic black and white striped suit, I wanted to include a kind of black and white stripe aspect, so I wanted to do a almost a double winged eyeliner. So I'm first going into this shade Blanc from the e.l.f. New Classics palette. Any white eyeliner or eyeshadow would probably do. Honestly, eyeliner would probably be a better way to go. I don't own eyeliner, so I'm using this angled liner brush and using it damp. And I'm going to line a wing that's slightly above when I where I normally would put it, so I'm going to put a black underneath that. Now if you're using an eyeshadow, it might take a while to build up the pigmentation, that's why I would definitely recommend using an eyeliner. But again, it's all about using what you have and getting creative. Now that I finished both eyes with that liner, fed my dog, and have a strange combination of motherhood from Hello Dolly and the tail of Sweeney Todd stuck in my head, Let's continue on and do the black liner. <laughs> Again, you could use an actual eyeliner, but I'm just going to use a black shadow. In this case, I'm using Trenches from the Elf Earth and Ocean palette from earlier. I'm choosing that one because it has a bit of a metallic finish and the white did as well, so I feel like it'll be more cohesive. Anyone else struggle with being able to do one eye so much better than the other when it comes to winged eyeliner? Because it's really frustrating. So as you can see, I'm starting to where the other one was, but I'm going right underneath it, trying to make it as thin as possible. One thing I do like about using eyeshadow is that it's a lot more forgiving. You can build it up. If you make a mistake, it's easier to kind of cover up compared to liquid eyeliner. It's just wherever you put it, it that's where you're going. Now that I have that part of the wing down, I'm going to line the upper lash line with that same black. But I'm trying to be very thin because I have slightly hooded lids so I have to be kind of careful how thick my eyeliner is, but you can change the thickness depending on what looks good on your eye shape. After I finished the eyeliner, I used my makeup eraser to clean up some of the edges as well as some of the fallout. So now I'm ready to do my face. Now that I've finished my base, I'm going to take that same white shade on a small detail brush and focus it in a little triangle on the inner corner. I kind of blent it out on each side, but I wanted the focus to be right on the inner corner. Now using that same combination of the black with the angled liner brush, I'm going to go underneath the lash line, starting from the outside and tapering it in. Now that my eyeshadow is done, you might be thinking, oh, that's, that's it, she's done. No, 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 no. I want to try to do my whole face looking like the stage of Beetlejuice. So I want to do a interesting blush. Now I don't have bright purple blush, but I do have eyeshadow. So I was thinking, instead of using normal contour, bronzer, that thing, I'm just sculpting my face using this. So I'm going to start off using the shade Zoned Out, which is a lighter lilac shade but I want to go in with Iffy to add depth. I'm using a fluffy angled brush and applying it more to the tops of my cheeks to sculpt the face instead of having a centered blush. I'm almost putting the blush in a triangular shape where it's not really going towards the center of my face. Now that I've used that lilac shade, I wanna use a tiny bit of the deeper purple shade, and if you have a deeper skin tone, then you'd probably use the deeper one more, a lot more than I am. But since I'm so pale, 
want to be a little bit careful. I'm just using a bit of that lilac shade around my face so that it doesn't look quite as intense just in this on my cheeks. Again, I'm using this angled brush just to get a bit more precision compared to a fluffier blush brush. Basically contouring my face with purple, which I must say is a first. <laughs> now, I feel like my look is a little bit too purple to be a Beetlejuice look right now. So for highlighter, I'm going back into this e.l.f. New Classics palette where the lid is almost fallen off. <laughs> I'm going into the shade Gilded, which is this paler green gold shade. If you have a deeper skin tone, you might be able to pull off something that's a bit more green than this, but this is as far as I go. I'm kind of following the same shape and structure that I use with the blush, except in the I'm putting it up higher and then blending down so that it's not super harsh and then a bit up as well. You know, that doesn't actually look as crazy as I thought. I feel like it looks crazier in person than it does on camera. <laughs> now, while we are highlighting, I'm going to use that same shade and put a tiny bit just below my brow. Pretty sure I was just blocking my face with the mirror. I'm so sorry. I got a little bit distracted. Using that same crease brush that might still have some green on it, just to soften the edges a tiny bit. Okay, so I put on my mascara and now I have lips. Now I'm using the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Sugar, Sugar Plum because it is a deep purple lipstick and I felt like this is, I don't have many lipsticks and this one seems like the most fitting. Any kind of deep purple, even black, a black lipstick would actually look really good or a deep green. Any of those would probably be perfect, but this is what I have. So this is what I'm using. Now I just use a lip liner similar to my lip shade to help map out my lips so that the lipstick application process was easier. But if you don't own a lip liner, you could also use just a small brush and dip into a lipstick and kind of outline your lips. Unless if you're really good at applying lipstick, you can just wing it. In that case, um, teach me your skills. I feel like if this lipstick was just slightly cooler and more purple, it would be perfect. But you know what? It's fine. So this is, this is the whole look. I almost feel like an alien. <laughs> having all this purple and green on my face, but I'm also kind of digging it. Like, I'm fine with being an alien. Anyways, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that this might have spurred some creativity in you. Let me know if you also love the musical Beetlejuice and what your thoughts are on it, and um, if this eye look you think represents Beetlejuice in any sort of accurate way. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye!